In this video, I'm going to continue working on this activity 7.2 sectional views. In particular, I'm going to work on this part. It's part number 6. It's on page 6. I'm going to show you how to model this part and create this drawing. I'm going to start out by going to New Part. and a new sketch on the XY plane. Choose a two-point center rectangle starting at the origin. And type in 3.5 tab 2.885 Tab Enter. Continuing with your two point center rectangle, select this midpoint here. Enter Tab. Don't enter a number here because you're going to modify this dimension later. And if you enter a dimension here, Inventor will not let you change it. Hit Tab. And here, enter. 1.015 tab enter select this midpoint enter tab and enter point 313 asterisk 2 I'm multiplying the radius that's shown on the sketch by 2. Uh, the diameter is going to determine the width of this slot 2 times the radius. Choose your dimension tool. I'm going to draw a dimension from here to here as is shown on the drawing. And this is 2.5. And a dimension from here to here. And that's 0.5. I'm going to create a three-point arc from here to here and take it out until you see the two tangency constraints active. Select there. Hit Escape twice to get out of that. I'm going to delete these two dimensions. I'm going to choose my uh, Trim tool and trim some of these lines I don't need. Your finished profile should look like this. Finish your sketch. Extrude a distance of 1. Select OK. Start a new sketch on this surface. Turn on construction and project this face. Turn off construction, choose your point tool, and place a point on the x axis. Choose your dimension tool, dimension to the point. And enter 1.062. Finish your sketch. Choose your hole tool, change the, the diameter to 
and change the depth. This should say distance under termination and change the depth to 0.562. Select OK. Create a new sketch on that surface. Turn on construction. Project that face. Choose your line tool and draw a line from this midpoint to that midpoint. Right mouse button, cancel. Turn off construction. Choose your point tool and place a point at the midpoint of the line you just drew. Finish your sketch. Choose your hole tool. Change the diameter to 0.375 and change the depth to 0.75. Termination should say distance and select OK. Choose your chamfer tool. Set your chamfer distance to 0 0.69 and point to this edge and this edge. Select Apply. Choose your chamfer tool one more time and change the chamfer to 0 0.06 and choose these six edges select OK change your material to aluminum 6061 Go to your front view. Make sure that this is your front view. If it's not, navigate to this view using your view cube and select this menu, the context menu, and choose set current view to front such that this is your front view. Save your part. Call it 7.2 section view part 6. Create a new drawing. Place your base view. Change your scale to 2 to 1. Place the side view and an ISO view. Select OK. Select your ISO view. Turn on shaded and change the scale to 1 to 1. Select OK. Select Annotate. Choose your Centimark tool. Right mouse button Cancel. Stretch this line out to about there, and stretch this line out about there also. Select this view, turn on hidden line, select OK. Go to place views, select section view, select this view. Select the end of this line. And the opposite end. Move your cursor down and to the right. Right mouse button continue. And place your section view here. Choose your dimension tool.
Choose your chamfer tool. Point to this line and this line. Right mouse button, cancel. Select this dimension. Hit carriage return and type in TYP and OK. And this will designate that this chamfer applies to all the edges in this view. Choose your hole and thread tool. Point to this hole. And this hole. Select Eye Properties, select Summary, change the title to 7.2 Section View Part 6, change the author to your name, select File, select Export the PDF, save the PDF file in your Documents folder and submit your PDF drawing to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.